Why did Jehovah's Witnesses start using carts for preaching? Was it to innovate their preaching methods? Did Jehovah and Jesus instruct them to do this to recruit more members? Because the end is near. Well, for those familiar with Jehovah's Witnesses, public witnessing with carts, officially known as public witnessing, is nothing new. In fact, Jehovah's Witnesses adapted various preaching methods over the years. They are most well known for their door-to-door -door preaching. However, they also preach on the streets through letters, over the phone, have used loudspeakers, cards, and posters. The current method of using carts or tables for preaching is a slight modification of the old method of street preaching with signs or displaying publications. So what has changed? What made the governing body invest so much in this method in recent times? Well, as you may know, people are becoming more conscious of their lives and careers in many areas and are less inclined to spend time on things they consider irrelevant. Many people are rarely at home, and others live in highly secure, gated communities. In many places, people no longer appreciate uninvited visitors imposing their religious beliefs on them. So, to avoid issues, Jehovah's Witnesses have been focusing on using carts in highly trafficked areas recently to attract people who show interest in approaching them. In other words, they are trained to set up their carts in public and strategic locations and wait for someone passing by to express interest in talking to them. It's the passerby who initiates the conversation, not the other way around. At first, many Jehovah's Witnesses were enthusiastic about this method. However, after the emergence of the pandemic, the use of these carts significantly decreased, and those who still use them are those committed to achieving a certain number of monthly preaching hours, known as pioneers and missionaries. So whenever someone feels they have too few hours, they can simply pull out the cart to a street corner and wait for someone to approach them. During this waiting time, they count the hours. Often, they do not engage in meaningful conversations, but direct people to visit the jww.org website. In summary, Jehovah's Witnesses do not preach out of love for people. They preach because they are fulfilling the hidden agenda of the Watchtower Society, represented by the governing body. From a young age, Jehovah's Witnesses are convinced that God's kingdom is already ruling and will soon bring paradise. This kingdom must be publicized so that more people join it. The primary way to show loyalty to this kingdom is by assisting the anointed, who are few in number, in their preaching work. Those who do not do this will not enter paradise. Seen to increase psychological pressure and control over individuals, all members are required to report their preaching activities monthly. Those who stop doing so are labeled as inactive, even if they attend meetings. Any problems that arise during these activities that harm individuals, the Watchtower Society claims no responsibility because they argue that you are involved in voluntary work. In other words, Something that was mandatory for them becomes voluntary to avoid legal liabilities. And this is why the leadership of Jehovah's Witnesses discourages their members from pursuing higher education as they want more young people available to sustain their organization. I know many elders who don't have time for these activities regularly but insist on demanding service reports from the congregation monthly. So... The next time you see Jehovah's Witnesses going from door to door or standing on the street waiting to be approached by you, remember they are simply blind slaves following orders. Be kind in how you interact with them. Thank you very much for watching this video. Until the end, please leave a like, share your experiences in the comments, and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe.